This video will cover the basic considerations and installation instructions for setting the power jumpers on the PowerFlex 755 frame 8, 9, and 10 drives. Power jumpers, when appropriately installed, are intended to protect the drive and limit electromagnetic emissions from it. The primary consideration for connecting or disconnecting the power jumpers is the grounding of the power source. Drives that are AC fed with an input power source that is solidly grounded must have the power jumpers connected. Please note that either all jumpers should be connected or disconnected. Having one jumper installed and the others removed is not a valid configuration. Any other power system grounding configuration requires that the power jumpers be removed on an AC fed drive. This would include the following types. High resistance ground, ungrounded secondary, and B phase ground. If you are having difficulty identifying the power distribution system type or its grounding, please refer to the video on power system identification. With the power distribution system type identified, the jumpers must either be installed or removed. To avoid manually installing the jumpers on a solidly grounded system, order the drive with code J. In this configuration, all jumpers will be installed on the delivered drive. It is not possible, due to UL specifications, to order all power jumpers removed. To connect or disconnect the power jumpers on the frame 8, start by removing power from the drive. To avoid an electric shock hazard, verify that the voltage on the bus capacitors has discharged completely before servicing. Measure the DC bus voltage at the DC plus and DC minus test point sockets on the front of the power module. The voltage must be zero for this measurement. To access these test points, use a large flathead screwdriver and release the connections on the cabinet door. The power jumpers are located in two different locations. The PEB jumper is located on the inverter power control board. The PEA1 jumper is located behind the control pod and the PEA2 jumper is located to the right of the R phase fuse on the converter section of the drive. If the PEB jumper is electrically connected it will be connected to J3 on the inverter power control board. If it is electrically disconnected, it will be connected to J4. If the PEA2 jumper is electrically connected, it will be connected to P3 on the converter section of the drive. If it is electrically disconnected, it will be connected to P2. If the PEA1 jumper is electrically connected, it will be screwed into the left connection point. If it is electrically disconnected, it will be screwed into the right connection point. On early production modules, the PEA1 jumper will be located on the same plate, slightly lower and to the right. To connect the PEA2 jumper, pull the plastic plug off of the P2 connection and plug it into the P3 connection. Conversely, to disconnect this jumper, pull the plug off of the P3 connection and plug it into the P2 connection. To change the PEA1 jumper configuration, a long flathead or T20 screwdriver will be required. To locate the PEA1 jumper, first remove the pod cover by loosening, not removing, 
the two M4 by 12 millimeter slotted hexaloblier screws at the bottom of the cover, and then removing the top two hexaloblier screws at the top of the pod. With these screws removed, remove the front cover. Next, loosen the two M4 captive panel fasteners that secure the control pod to the converter control panel and swing forward the control pod. With the control pod door open, screw the wire onto the dry frame with the right screw to electrically disconnect the jumper or with the left screw to electrically connect the jumper. With the PEA1 configuration set, rotate the control pod back into place and reconnect the two M4 captive panel fasteners. The recommended torque for these connections is 1.8 newton meters or 16 pound inches. With the control pod in place, slide on the front control panel and screw in the top two M4 screws to a recommended torque of 1.8 newton meters. Finally, tighten the bottom two M4 screws. To electrically connect or disconnect the PEB jumper, use a T20 or flathead screwdriver and loosen the screws holding the inverter power control board tray to the drive frame. With these screws loose, slide the tray out and flip the tray over. To electrically connect the PEB jumper, place it on the J3 connection and to electrically disconnect it, place it on the J4 connection. With the jumper set as desired, turn the tray over and slide it back into the drive chassis. Tighten the M4 connections to a recommended torque of 1.86 newton meters or 16 pound inches. Once the jumpers are configured as desired, Close the cabinet door and use a large flathead screwdriver to secure the cabinet connections. Once power is applied, the drive will be ready to run in this new configuration. Thank you for watching. Additional documentation can be found at the description below or at Rockwell Automation's Literature Library.